Hi there, guys. This is、um, the second premier broadcast of the Mises Institute at MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Strategic Studies, especially for the sciences, and of course the Strategic Studies Initiative here. Look at Abe Lincoln versus Lincoln Center here, and of course Abe Lincoln represents what? Well, according to Bill Kelly, Cuny Grad Center, it represents. You can read what he says on YouTube yourself, and of course the distinguished professor, the greatness of Lincoln. By this man at Cuny Grad Center, distinguished professor, and of course lectures, discussion, concerts, and exhibitions and films. Well, from I Labs and McFarland Research Labs, he says, Cuny Grad Center professor. In comparison, on Financial News Network, or Bloomberg, FNN versus CNN, you tell Mrs. Spencer at CNN and Bob Gallucci and the Tron Legacy Prizes, not to fail this fall. And of course, Columbia and Princeton students and faculty members to read this. The fact of the matter is the following: that Obama needs an institution to change, and he was asked whether Obama can be compared against Lincoln. The fact is that. Lincoln has an institution to change: slavery, abolitionist, and of course, Obama is not as great at negotiating, bringing his enemies together as Nancy Pelosi in the health care plan, whereas Lincoln was Republicans and even Northeast Democrats in fighting the four-year civil war. Now, the fact of the matter is that he needs an institution to change. And of course, I Labs and Found Research Labs has an institution change to make its greatness. Fast in the speed of light and impediments at MIT and Harvard in its 150-year celebration of sea sales. Tell Lincoln, tell Cuny Grad Center, and its president, Bill Kelly, and the CW funding. So, Mr. Chang, Mr. Zukowski, Fanny Oski, and Lee Bollinger. The Great Society program on Google Tubes. The New York Times front page say that the major spokesman for Egyptian young professionals and students is a Google executive in Egypt. And yet Facebook and Twitter are the main tools to be used by these young professionals. It's his fault. And Larry Page once again not turning page. He's sitting on Ariana Huffington being bought by AOL as a post and blog news versus, of course, who else? Facebook. So these are the things that people need to know. First, Professor Jeffrey Sachs, NASA Goddard Institute, Sachs Sea Earth Institute, Space Studies, Global Warming, Columbia University, and CWE funding, YMCA. Mr. Jack Filiberto calls me hanging out at MIT, Harvard campus, and Carter Foundation campus. That's a waste of time. YMCA West 63rd Street, New York City, Manhattan. First, the John D. Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation, and of course, MacArthur Fellows, and Tron Legacy Prizes should not fail this fall. First, the Harvard Home, MIT, and its 150 years celebration. So these are the things you need to know, and ask for the three events. Of course, the fact of the matter is that. Number one, the Anton chip, supercomputer D Shaw, to be used as, of course, what, <clears throat> to help find string folding, global warming issues, string folding over topology, the topology of the universe could not be unified with the lower topology of this universe's energy. Versus the Big Bang and prior Big Bang, how Edward and string theory, and that's why string theory could not be unified. That's right, because the topology in the beginning of the universe, pre Big Bang to Big Bang, is a different topology due to the high energy compared to the topology of this universe, and therefore the two topologies are different and cannot be unified. And in string theory, in different topology could not be unified with the laws of physics in the lower energy topology of our living universe that we live in. So the fact of the matter is that we need to understand 
we need to understand why unification string theory is not possible with the lower topology energy of ours. Anton Chup can be simulated a thousand times faster, 80 petaflops of, of what? 80 petaflops versus 80 teraflops of IBM Jeopardy supercomputers. It will be simulating topological function, how topology and its sub-geometries are being changed with the topology maintained by the same due to energy and global warming. Geometry within topology change and topological function determines which one of the geometries could actually lead to a feedback. A feedback between what? <clears throat> between, for example, a hurricane is a twist in the geometry of a topology that remains the same due to not enough energy yet to be able to change topology of the atmospheric space-time field. You can tell Dennis Sullivan, Einstein professor at CUNY Grass Center about that. Dr. Jeffrey Sachs and his Earth Institute and NASA Goddard Institute. And of course the fact of the matter is that then it might perhaps this twist in the geometry within the topology or the weather system or the space-time field or the atmosphere then be connected to the part that is not twisted in the hurricane. So the twisted geometry of the hurricane space-time atmospheric field would then be stretching the straight part or the more flat part of the geometry that it doesn't have a hurricane. When a hurricane dissipates, it puts some energy back into the flatter part of the geometry of a topological space-time atmospheric field. Now James Hansen, director of NASA Garden Institute at Sea Earth Institute about that, a physicist. And then of course the question is when does that energy store so much due to the topological function that Dennis Sullivan and Kuna Grassen is going to find out. So that it stores so much energy in the flatter part of geometry that doesn't have the hurricane in it, that the next hurricane will store even more. And this feedback between the flatter part and the twisted part of geometry or topology then causes at a certain time a feedback, positive loop, such that global warming cannot be stopped and a runaway effect. Topological function will determine when that feedback happens within the different parts of the geometry that feed each other in positive feedback. These are the global challenges, the two issues that we asked for the CUWA funding for. And of course, the Anton chip could be simulating when this global warming feedback happens between different finite fields of the space-time geometry or topology. And of course, unification of strength through a high energy is not unifiable because the topologies at high energy are different from topology of universes at low energy. This is what a Tron Legacy Prize means versus the Field Meadows and of course the Wolf Prize that Dennis Sullivan got to help Bacalucci on board the CUW funding and not to fail this year on the Tron Legacy Prize as chairman of the committee at the MacArthur Foundations. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in Princeton University students and other university faculty and students who read the YouTube broadcast of this by Bob Gulucci, Guth, and Huth, MIT, and Harvard.